How's it going everybody? David here with solarpowermyrv.com and today I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of this Keystone Cougar that we just completed a full-time solar system on. For this RV we installed 1400 watts of solar, a 3000 watt inverter, 600 amp hours of lithium batteries, an alternator charging, and also a complete system monitor. This RV came original with 200 watt panels for a total of 200 watts so we also added 1200 more watts with these 200 watt rich solar panels for a total of 1400 watts of solar. We installed most of the main components and batteries in the front compartment here. If you look here we installed two of these 300 amp hour batteries, an inverter, a solar controller, a system monitor, and then also a DC distribution system. At the heart of this system is the batteries, the lithium batteries. These are life blue batteries and they're 300 amp hours a piece. The great thing about these batteries, they have internal heaters that turn on if the battery gets too cold automatically. They also have internal apps, that way you can see what's going on with each battery through its own app. These two batteries here are about the equivalent of 12 to 15 standard lead acid RV batteries. These are very reliable batteries and will last you 5 to 10 times longer. These light blue batteries are great because each battery has its own internal battery monitor app. So it'll tell you the state of charge, the voltage, the capacity, and the health of each battery. Light blue batteries are a little different than other batteries on the market. Because if you look here on this app, you can actually tell what's going on with the battery management system, if there's any issues. If you look at a high voltage or low voltage connects, this will tell you if there's any issues with the battery on the inside. And this will also tell you the cells independently, the voltage of each cell inside the battery. So if there's ever an issue with the battery, it's very easy to troubleshoot. Most batteries don't have this, and this is why we use light blue batteries. If you look at this screen on the app, it'll tell you a few different things here. So it'll tell you your battery voltage, amps going in or out of this particular battery, the temperature of the inside of this battery, and how many cycles total are on this battery. These batteries will last three to 5,000 cycles, no problem. Now the way the batteries connect to the rest of the system is through here. You have a main negative and a main positive that connect here to this fuse and this shunt and go to a main disconnect switch. So we have a main fuse here that protects the whole system. And we have a main power switch that way you can work on your system or put it in storage and turn this switch off. We connect the solar directly to the battery. So even with the main switch off, the solar still will keep recharging. That way when you come back, you have a full battery and you just turn the switch on and you're ready to go. Now this Victron links power in here is where all your DC components connect at. Your inverter, your house, your solar, your alternator charging everything connects to this little box here and then we have a shunt down here which is your battery monitor and that actually measures all the power going in and out of this system here now if you look here to the left this is your inverter charger unit it's a inverter that powers everything in your rv whenever you're not on shore power including microwaves all of your outlets fridges air conditioners tvs just about anything up to 3,000 watts at one time. Now when you're on shore power or generator power, it'll automatically switch to charge mode and it'll charge your batteries at a super fast rate. Most inverters that come with RVs only power just a few outlets. The way we hook up our inverters, they power everything on your electrical panel. So that way you can use your appliances just like you were plugged into shore power. So moving on to this side of the install, we have the solar controller. This solar controller is what takes the solar panel power and turns it into usable power for the battery. So if you look here, we have the solar coming from the roof through this resettable breaker here. And then that power goes to this charge controller. Now, the charge controller takes the solar power, sends it through this resettable breaker here, and then sends it directly to your battery through this cable. So the way we set this up, we put it directly to the battery so you can turn off the other main switch on the distribution center here and then your batteries will still charge while everything else will be off so you can come back to full batteries. 
Now this device here is your Servo GX slash Touch 50 system monitor. This is where all your Victron components talk to each other and send the information to the touch screen on the inside. That way you can effectively manage your power without having any issues and see exactly where your power is going. So that's the main components here. There's a couple more I want to show you here on the side compartment. So if you look in this side compartment, this is where the original batteries were. Now we also added this DC to DC charger down here, which is for alternator charging. It basically goes through your tow pin connection, which goes into this unit and it comes out to a breaker and then goes directly to your batteries. So that way when you plug in your tow pin connection, it'll automatically start charging when your vehicle is running. This was the original solar controller with the 200 watts on the roof. So we just extended it and added it to the existing system. And we also added it to the Servo GX monitor. So if you look here, this is where we installed the system monitor and the battery monitor. So this here is your battery monitor, this little circle square deal. And this will tell you information about your battery specifically. So if you look here, it's telling us we have infinite hours left. It has, we're at 69 degrees Fahrenheit at the battery temp. We are at 13.58 at voltage at the battery. We're pulling in 50 amps. This is, it's a positive number, so we're charging. And this is, we're pulling in almost 700 watts here of solar, since it's a positive number. And then we used 86 amp hours from the full capacity, so we need to recharge 86 amp hours to recharge the full. And here we had 85% battery left. And at this rate, we have infinite hours. So if you look here below, this is your Servo GX slash Touch 50 monitor. This is where all your Victron components talk to each other. And you can actually see what's going on with every component in your system and where all your power is going. So you can see we have solar power charging the battery. You can see AC loads or DC loads. You can see what state your inverter is in. And if you're on shore power, it'll pop up to the left from the red box that you're on shore power. This is a very great way to manage your system and manage your power effectively. So there you have it. This was a quick tour of a typical full-time living RV solar system. This system is designed to last a decade or more. It's maintenance free and will give you the convenience and comfort of being able to use your appliances, whether you're off grid or traveling the country full-time.